Yo, 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 it's it's Zazel time. Everyone's favorite fallen demon. But it's not just regular Zazel. Uh, Zazel has Dogma's Brimstone. Look at that. I didn't think it was going to have the same sound effect as that. It's really cool, actually. I, I like the aesthetics of Dogma. Hang on, I gotta turn the game down. I like the aesthetics of Dogma probably m the most out of literally anything in the game. That might not be entirely true, but off the top of my head, he, he's at least up there. I love the I love this the static look. I like the the old school TV look. For some reason, I I don't know why. I actually kind of like old school like CRT or just box TVs in general. Uh, I don't know why. I, it's just always been something that's drawn my eye. Actually, I kind of do know why. I'm I'm just a dirty liar right now. So basically, when I was a kid, oh god, not even when I was a kid. Because it's still true to this day. I like a lot of old school games. Cats out of the bag. Yeah, that's right. I like a bunch of NES, NES games, and all that kind of stuff. I got a lot of my own still. You can, If you go into the depths of this channel, you can find uh, a bunch of collection videos where I show them all off, actually. They're pretty high quality. I definitely recommend you check those out. But yeah, I also have a TV head man tattooed on my arm. Like, I just like the aesthetics of it. I don't know why. So, so Dogma, he hit a sweet spot. He really did. Other than that, a stacks you could probably hit is like, I don't know, I like neon colors a lot. Like, specifically like green, purple, those are my top two. Like, both neon, of course. Uh, I even like neon pink, like, a lot. And, and, you know, neon blue and stuff, those are all fine too. But those are like the top three, I'd say, honestly. My top three favorite colors, with green in the lead, for sure. We're gonna, okay, I also have Pog for good items on, I totally forgot. <laughs> Which is funny because the brimstone just comes out of the pog mouth. That's great. I also have UG for bad items on. And I have a couple other surprises. But you're just going to have to wait and see what else I got on. Uh, and we'll, we'll see in time. So yeah, I just want to show off a couple mods. That I'm sure majority of people have already seen. That was the most stupid thing in the history of literally anything in the world. I'm going to keep spider buck. But we're going to hold on to that for, uh, you know, bookworm. Or, I mean, use it, touch it once for Bookworm. So, I also have the Planetarium Chance mod on, which is the first time I've had it on. And, I like it. I like its function. I absolutely hate how it doesn't look like it's even part of the HUD. Like, it's just off to the bottom right there. Like, not even centered. Like, it's so off. That's nice. That's literally gonna make me... <laughs> <laughs> never want to put it on again it's incredibly triggering but um so i've talked about this on stream before and probably in one of these videos where i just kind of talk off the top of my head couldn't tell you which one i have talked about it on so i will keep it brief and this is my opinion on mods right mods mods are really cool i got literally nothing against mods i think they add a lot of value to the game like make endless replayability and a lot of creative fans and stuff can you know put their two cents in i love the range up um can put their two cents in right and you know just be creative and all that stuff make the game better or worse for the fuck they want to do put memes in i love it but i never played with mo mods literally before this i started like taking this youtube channel seriously uh and that's just because i, I talked about this before again so i won't go into detail uh i, I you gotta put on and a uh, cap on the game at some time is kind of how I looked at it. Like, I can only play so much fucking Isaac, dude. If I just go into mods, I'm going to want 100% all the mods, too. And it becomes a whole mess. So I just kind of stopped when I got my 3 million percent. But I've always liked them. I like all I watch mod videos and stuff. And I refuse to put any kind of mods, cosmetic or just uh, quality of life mods on uh, the save file when I'm doing completion stuff. Because that's not how I did my other save files. So I just don't want to. So I, I just don't want to. Until the save file is complete. And then I'll fuck around. And for the other two save files, I'll fuck around with that too. I I, I did the other three save files without any mods either. But uh, people want me to do mods. I want to try mods. I'm ready to become a dictionary of Isaac. I'm, I'm ready to, uh, to learn it all. You know what I mean? Because uh, to have those mods that, you know, give item descriptions, which I should have put on for this one. I meant to, but forgot. Uh, so I, I'm ready to get my knowledge up there, right? To be a walking Isaac encyclopedia. Because I, you know, like I said, I got 3 million percent. I got over a thousand hours in the game. You can say I haven't played the game a lot, right? With that being said, I don't think... I think you can play this game 
for a really fucking long time, but also be an idiot and not know shit. That's kind of how I fall. How I feel like I fall. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not a complete idiot, but like... I mean, that's subjective. A complete idiot when it comes to the game. Uh, but like, people in the comments remind me how much, how little I know all the time. Or even chat sometimes. Um... But, because I kind of go into things blind. I don't look stuff up often. And why? I couldn't tell you. It's just my play style, I suppose. But yeah, that's, those are my thoughts on mo uh, mods. And uh, by the way, I forgot to mention, I do want to go to Dogma. I want to live. I, I, gotta, I feel like I'm playing poorly right now. I actually don't know why. I, I do not like Azazel's forced range. Uh, nice. Forced close range. I talk about this all the time. Uh, so Azazel's not my favorite character. With that being said, their range just went up a decent amount, actually. I think. Maybe subconsciously, but either way. Um, but I want to go to Dogma. Uh, to have Dogma's brimstone. Uh, to have Dogma have a taste of his own brimstone. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I hate Bumbino. God damn it. I think everyone hates Bumbino. So we're gonna be careful as hell. All I want is health up, honestly. I am doing so bad on health. Give me that angel deal as well, please. Yo, baby, let's just go. That's quite literally exactly what I wanted. I wanted that over a standard HP up. Just for the spear hearts alone. You know what I mean? So good. I like how their eyes glow. I feel like that wasn't a thing before Repentance. Also, this Brimstone 100% feels longer, and I'm in love with it right now. So, Azazel is one of the easier characters. There's absolutely no doubt about it. If I had to give this game to a new player, and they had to win a run to save their life, first of all, I'm going to say... It was good knowing you. Uh, and second of all, I'm going to say... Just try Azazel. I, I might give them Tainted Azazel. The jury's not out on which is the easier character. I think it's probably Tainted Azazel. He's definitely my preference of the two for the non-close range stuff. Ayan's very important. Because you can easily hurt yourself on close range. It's just, it's just a fact. Uh, even the most skilled player they can too. I have a 10% Planetarium chance. Do I really? I thought I'd be at 1% still. I guess I can explore for a 10% chance. I'm not in any rush, so I... Since I am doing beats, I'll have the full card on me at some point, so I could do boss rush. Well, I won't do boss rush. Whoa, he's fast. That's weak for buying the broken stopwatch, I guess. Um, but regardless, I guess I'm going to explore real quick. And I, I came, I saw, I also conquered. I did all those things. I'll go in here, too. See what happens. Worth. If this doesn't touch me, it's worth it. Nice, nice. So how's your day going, everybody? My day is going good. Thank you for asking. I, I always uh, like you when chat asks me how it's going. I'm, I'm always hoping they're doing good as well. Uh, I, li I like I like just the talking dynamic with chat a lot. Uh, streaming might be one of my favorite parts of YouTube. This is These are my favorite parts on YouTube. Uh, in order. Probably just the creativity of it. The creativity of, of getting new titles, thumbnails. What am I going to do in the channel? And just how to expand. I, lo I love thinking about all that. Uh, second is probably just live streaming and fucking playing Isaac, which I would normally play alone with, you know, a hundred or so people. Maybe 200, maybe 500 like that one time. Uh, that's definitely the second favorite part. The third favorite part, I guess the money? I don't know. Because those are, the, the creativity is the number one thing that makes you want to do YouTube, right? And streaming, I didn't know how much I love streaming until I realized how much I love streaming, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm trying to think what the third best thing would be. What is, is this, uh, item rooms in the cathedral? I think it is. I don't know what the fuck I have right now, by the way. I, I do not know what this trinket does. Um, yeah, so I'm trying, I'm struggling to think of a third thing. I, and I guess the community, community, that kind of goes hand in hand with talking to people I play Isaac, in my opinion. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. Those are, those are definitely the top two. Community slash, you know, talking to people I play Isaac. <laughs> and the creativity. That, that's for sure. Well, what's the worst part of the YouTube thing you say? Hmm, good question. I am kind of struggling. Okay, okay, this is, so it's a less struggle with this, but I'll talk about this first. Um, it is kind of confusing as to what I do in my free time. Ah, because what I did before YouTube, I would work. Then I would go home, and then I would uh, play video games and make videos for fun. <laughs> now that's a job, and work is also the same fucking thing. It's like, okay, so, you know, I finished uh, playing video games and making videos all day. What do I do to unwind now? Also, can we talk about the the no tier rate, first of all, and uh, no angel deal. What's up with that, bro? Um, 
So it's like I, I finished, you know, my long day, which it never feels like a long day, of, uh, you know, playing video games and uh, making videos. What do I do now? Do I continue to play uh, games <laughs> and make videos? I don't know. Uh, the answer is, yeah, kind of. I, I pretty much, uh, I have different games I play off stream now, like Hollow Knight, for instance. Uh, I'll start playing Nota more off, off YouTube. I, I mean, I play Isaac off YouTube, too. Now that I'm trying to do uh, Tane Jacob off stream, because he's a terrible stream character, because uh, you just have to be so focused. Um, so I even play an Isaac off stream, and, and that, that it does feel like a separation. It doesn't feel like I'm working at that point. Honestly, it rarely does even uh, YouTube feel like work, but but it can. It certainly can sometimes, but not, not too bad. I don't have the fucking money, uh, the uh, keys for that. Um, there's something else I want to say on the topic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that, that kind of was a problem for a minute, but it's not too bad right now. I, I do. What, the number one thing, though. The number one thing I hate is sitting in the same goddamn chair all day. And that's not for like, ooh, I need to go outside. I need to see people. It's more like my back hates this. My neck hates this. I'm getting a headache. What else do I do? Because <laughs> I've never been super duper social. For, for the most part, I should say. Um... So most of my hobbies are are just inside on the computer, you know? Unless I am hanging out with friends. So it, it, it's more, it's less of what do I do and more like I want to fucking get out of this chair. But like all my hobbies also take place in the same chair. <laughs> so I, I have been stretching more. I have been working out in general. Uh, so it, I'm managing it. It's still just annoying. I also feel like I am overworking myself. But it's, it's honestly kind of hard to tell. Like, I, I'm having fun. I, I never, if, if I can help it, I, I won't work when I'm not having fun. I, I just won't do it. I don't want to do it, which honestly isn't that often. Most of the time when I'm working on YouTube, I'm having fun. There's something I like about it. Sometimes editing can be annoying. And it, it's weird because, you know, I'll work like a shit ton of hours. I, I'm not really keeping track. I'll like work a shit ton of hours and then I'll be fine. And then like the next week, I'll, I'll work like the less hours or what, whatever. Or next day, I should say. I'll work less hours and then I feel like more burnt out. Then, not burnt out, but like more just like tired than working uh, when I worked more hours. So it's, it's weird. I don't think I'm getting burnt out. I probably am overworking and like only sometimes does it bother me. It, it's a really weird dynamic. Uh, you sure? Yeah. Did literally nothing. Um, so it's a weird dynamic. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. And don't worry about, you know, my health or anything like that, because I'm absolutely taking care of it. I'm not going to, you know, work myself to the point where I notice I am burnt out and all this stuff. I have been managing it fairly well. Well, I mean, I've been working on managing it fairly well, I should say. Like, because I'm still very new to this, so I'm still just getting a feel for everything. And, like, last week, I had such a backlog where I, I didn't need to do any recording, didn't need to do any editing, which is actually what I'm trying to build up today, as a matter of fact, that I could just chill for a fucking week. And, and then I, and so I did, you know? I, I, you know, just streamed once a day, you know, wrote down, like, any clips or whatever I, I want from the stream, any highlights I can turn into videos, maybe. Uh, then I would just fucking chill. And then, you know, every once in a while, I would maybe work on a little editing, and then I would chill. And that felt pretty nice. Um, so I'm definitely giving myself stuff like that, so don't even worry about me. Don't even worry. I'm managing. I'm still figuring it all out, for sure. It's a process. I also missed the item room because of, uh, not having a key. I'm gonna continue to miss it, because uh, we're doing Dogma. Perhaps I'll get Planetarium. Uh, and I also want Boss Rush, and we're just gonna put him there. Is it better? I don't think so. Is it safer? I suppose so. If I get hit once, I'll regret everything. Not really. Because I wouldn't want to fucking wait. Ah! That's the thing with some some low-key strategies in Isaac. I'd love to get an angel deal here, of course. Um, low-key uh, strategies nice in Isaac. Um, damn it. <laughs> some things just take too much time. Like, any nod leave strategy. That fucking stream where I had to walk on the spikes to get items. Like, fuck that. But I do like situations where you you can you can just win if you're desperate enough by just standing still or grinding something out for hours. <laughs> I really find that concept funny as hell. It, it's a it's a rough concept. It's a concept I will literally probably damn it uh, never 
go for. You know, I, I I have put the controller down, you know, ate dinner, gone to the bathroom, and just kind of did other things while Nodleaf was doing its work. Uh, even then, fuck off. I'll come back, like, an hour later and be like, this isn't worth it. I'd rather just fucking play the game, dude. Like, it is just not fun to me, honestly. And I guess that goes to my uh, either play style or just me not being desperate enough to need to do that. I don't... I, I could see myself, you know... Tainted, lost, beast is almost dead, or like mother's almost dead, and I just don't think I can do it because my build sucks. And I say, fuck it! <laughs> I can see myself doing it, and it's still a valid win. I don't think anything takes away from that win. You n know the game well enough to get that combo, perhaps, and especially how to use the combo, so you deserved it, I think. It's stupid uh, how long it takes, but like, good for you, I suppose. I won't take it away from you. Yeah, that's my philosophy on those. Uh, that was the stupidest thing ever. I will take Red Candle over my Spider Butt. Will I take 4.5 volt? I don't know how that synergizes, so I'm going to say no. Why well, I have the Upside Down Hermit? What does this do? A penny appeared. They stopped moving? I just kind of used it. Did it literally just give me a penny? Was that it? Let me go find the uh, Fool card. Which could be anywhere. We're crushing this, by the way. This Dogma Brimstone, or, or just uh, Azazel in general, I hate myself, is uh, crushing the shit out of this run. As expected. As expected. I once did a random streak. Also, can we acknowledge his face with Squeezy? <laughs> um, I, I once did a random uh, character run. Guess what I rolled into once. I re -rolled, I rolled into Keeper, right? Fucking crushed the run. The streak was alive. We were at like 14 or 15. To be fair, that the Keeper was the first, like, challenge I had for that streak because you can get away with some pretty lucky streaks honestly um I forgot I even had red candle nice uh and so I crush the keeper and then guess what happens I go I, next one I roll into Azazel I'm like perfect I fucking just I just won I just won I got another fucking win I lost how did I lose you say well I, I do think Azazel is absolutely losable I, I do see the tinted rock by the way and the planetarium baby let's go with a 30% chance um, but I think Azazel is obviously one of the harder characters to lose against. Unless you're going against maybe like Delirium or something you need to not be in close for. Um, but I digress. So basically, this is what happens. I, you know, I was just doing, you know, the Blue Baby and stuff. Uh, Jupiter? Jupiter. Um, which I don't even think it's bad. People, I think, hate it because it's gross. But, like, it's still good, though. <laughs> honestly. Um, sure. It's actually pretty good, right? Yeah. Um, so this is what happened with my, oh my god, look how, he's a big boy. Uh, so this is what happened. I, you know, was playing good old Azazel. I was going with a blue baby. I gotta get that tinted skull, I almost forgot. And then, I wasn't even necessarily doing bad. The run wasn't, I don't quite remember all the details. The run wasn't, like, too, too bad or anything. But I got, like, not even an exaggeration maybe like five soul hard drops throughout the entire thing and i just didn't get any hp ups outside of that I, I just didn't it was actually just so rough on the health regard and the health regard alone it, it was ridiculous also why did his brimstone go in real quick there so sorry for everyone's ears for the rest of this video because of jupiter i do think it's a good item though it seems like a good item right so it seems like you uh, i think the way it works is you stop moving to charge up your farts and then you release your farts, I suppose. That was so bad. I was trying to get the skull. I mean, the, the tinted rock when I could have waited a literal second, actually. <laughs> it is what it is, though. So I am uh, very pleased. I don't even need that, but I'll take it. I am very pleased um, with this infinite range I now have for Beast. Ooh, I like that. Nothing's really grabbing me here. I'm looking for a tinted rock now. Uh, I like the larynx. I like red candle better, I think. I think it's pronounced larynx. Uh, I kind of want to take it because it's new and interesting. I don't think it's the right move. But I, I, I care not, honestly. I do want some red hearts as well. I, I might as well run for that. Uh, you know what? 4.5 bolt actually is going to be incredible now. Like, actually incredible for the beast. We might just get so many explosions on the motherfuckers. It should be insane. It should be. 
Also, let me do a little battery just for fun. I did forget we have another shop along the way. Look at those poor wings trying desperately to hold Azazel up now. <laughs> poor, poor Azazel. Dogma Azazel. This is uh, Azazel if you watch too much uh, Christian broadcast on the, on the TV. But with that being said, this is a very good run. I'm very uh, happy with it. I love how Trisagon did nothing. And that was our one goddamn angel deal. That was our fucking one angel deal. Kind of shitty if you ask me. That damage is also shitty, but not what I was talking about. Two shitty things happened at once. Look at that. Hey, you guys. Just looking. Wait until you guys die. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. No, are not. Hey. I see, I see a Tinder Rock now. Thanks, dude. Okay. There we go. That was just a fucking annoying room. Do you even synergize, bro? Hey, you do, bro. Thank you. Oh, I never doubted you for a second, and that's a promise. I knew you always had my best interest in heart. Okay. I was going to say, I'm not a fan of blowing up that rock to have him free. And our health is looking incredible. We just need a couple of red hearts. And I kind of wish I went to the arcade. Whoa. Whoa. For potentially a charge bum to fuck around with and give some uh, money to. That being said, we didn't have much money. So it probably would have ended up being relevant. Uh, I'll waste a bomb here. We got uh, 11. And I actually, I almost went with egg sack bombs there. Because uh, bombs are so good against the bee specifically. And a uh, nice money, by the way. And, uh... Come on. Uh, egg sack bomb slowing him down. Like, that sounds even better. Another planetarium. I genuinely don't know if I've ever gotten two. That's Mars. We spit in Mars's face and say, literally, fix yourself. You have the potential to be a good item, but you're just not. What hit me there? I actually didn't see it. Let me go back for those pills, because I know we have a health up in the ring. In the mix. Okay. We got pheromones. Range down. Well... That was the definition of not worth it. If you look up not worth it in the dictionary, it will show you a picture of that scenario. It's really weird and niche, I know. I don't know why they went with it, but they just did. You brought him back to life, you monster. How dare you? How dare you do that? Okay, I feel like I've seen very little heart drops here. I mean, that's probably me just uh, not paying as much attention as I should because I'm, I'm kind of just destroying this with my actual cross-shaped uh, tears. Which is very fitting. You had to go for that rock of all rocks. You were also so goddamn tanky. Holy shit with you. I hate you. Have we been to the shop yet? We have not. We can also use larynx whenever. I don't know when we should. Let me go find that shop real quick. I'll be right back. And wow, we're 20 minutes here. We could have we made boss rush if it was on this floor. If we really wanted to. More, most likely. <laughs> Man, I, got a, I got an itchy beard right now. Can you hear that? I think you could. That, that's your uh, beard itching ASMR right there. Um, it actually surprised me when I first, like, you know, started streaming with this new microphone. And I would scratch my beard and I would hear how, you know, clearly it came on camera or uh, on the microphone. I, I was shocked. I was like, uh, damn, this thing is better quality than I thought. Then I'd hear my roommate across the room, like, you know, put his phone down and you could hear that. And I'm like, this is not good. <laughs> But uh, it's, it's not too bad in that regard. But yeah, I got I got myself an edgy beard. You want to know? Here, here's something I uh, I think is kind of odd. So like, I'm a man of the beard. There's no denying that, right? I've been a man of the beard. Uh, honestly, my beard I think started growing in in uh, I want to say like sophomore years when I first started getting you know like stubble I guess and had like a little facial hair to my name to the point where I could say yeah I'm growing a beard. Uh, but I wouldn't really say my beard was, like, anything to write home about until, like, maybe, like, towards the end of, yeah, I'd say at the end of my, uh, or maybe the, the, after the first semester, after the first semester of college, when, whenever I first grew a beard after that, or continued to grow my beard, because I, I did shave it in the past, I don't anymore, um, I would say that's when my beard started, you know, becoming more of a respectable beard, and you can be like, yeah, that guy has a beard. Uh, that's, I think, when the time you could start saying stuff like that. That was nice. That was really nice. Ooh, speaking of nice, baby. Um, come on. And uh, I never, ever even uh, want that. That spear heart, though, I do want. 
Um, and uh, I never used any, like, you know, beard oil to make my crate. That, he just went right fucking for me. To, you know, make my beard feel and, you know, smooth and stuff. Okay, okay. What was that fucking nonsense with this goddamn placement? <laughs> um, I, I never even, like, considered it, really. I never thought about it once. Oops. Well, goodbye. Oh, never mind. Goodbye, though, still. Um... Okay, my brain's trying to comprehend what these things are, which is not that complicated. So my brain's stupid, basically. I, I never even considered using it because, you know, my beard was fine. It was just on my face and I, I, that was the end of it, you know? Uh, and then literally, I would say probably like a year ago. And it's been like a million years since college. By a million, I mean like four, maybe. <laughs> since then, those tales of uh, my beard being respectable. And never once was I like, I need to use beard oil literally until, uh, like, last year. Like, straight up last year. And that and it became like my beard was suddenly so goddamn itchy. Like, out of nowhere. Like, it was, it was not itchy and fine. I can't believe this goddamn room, bro. How did I get hit fucking twice there? More like I can't believe my skills in this room. My speed might be garbage. I don't even fucking know it, dude. It's not the best. Um, probably got a bunch of farts in me. Uh, and then I was like, all right, yeah, fuck you, honestly. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, you're back. Are you kidding me? This room sucks more, in my opinion. And uh, so, fuck. So I invested in beard oil. And my beard was getting fucking itchy. Like, it went from not even kidding, like, literally zero to a hundred. And, in like, instantly. Like, one day I was like, my beard's kind of itchy. Then it was like, okay, my beard will not stop being itchy with like, a lot of dry skin and shit under it. And then, uh... One day I got beard oil and I was like, how the fuck did no one even like mention this to me sooner? Like, I would think it would be as common as shampoo is for your hair. Like, but like, it's just, it's never been mentioned to me. And it actually kind of blew my mind. I was like, how come I've never had a conversation with a man about like a beard oil or something? Is it implied? Am I on the outs? I got no idea. We Goodbye, cracked key. I guess we'll use it real quick. Like, I was like, am I on the outs? That's because that's literally how I felt about it. Because it was such a quality of life difference. Like, you can also feel it. You can also feel my beard being, uh, you know, fluffier and stuff. Which, I I mean, nice. My, my biggest priority was n it not being so ungodly itchy like it was, though. I hate this. Okay, I was getting cornered there. I didn't want to do it, but I did it. Um, and can we talk about my health? Goddamn, just disappearing suddenly? Like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> it's an epic fail right now. I do think I'll be okay. Especially with a sun card. I think oh, I'm capable. Oh, come on. Why didn't you split shot there? I was looking, waiting for a satisfying thing to happen. I'll take a little friends to the end. Ah! Okay. That's, 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 those are my beard uh, chronicles for you. Those are my beard chronicles for you. And, and the, the people ask. Actually, I don't think anyone's asked this before. I mean, on YouTube, I mean. Are you going to do anything fancy with your beard either? I low-key want to do mutton chops. I did mutton chops once in college as like a meme. I low-key want to try that again. Like last year before I, uh, you know, discovered beard oil, I just shaved my uh, beard because like it's so goddamn itchy. It's not worth having right now. So I like, I'll oh, fuck you guys, honestly. Oh, you didn't even die. You're strong. So I, uh, I shaved my beard because it was so goddamn itchy. And I, I just kept the mustache because I was like, I want to see how I look with just the mustache. I don't think just the mustache is at all the look for me. I do not. Um, could use him probably more often, honestly. Uh, and I, I don't even, but I don't even think the mutton chops necessarily look that bad on me, because uh, I'm in Maine and I'm a Mainer, and there's a lot of outdoorsy, you know, like older people with bad facial hair here. <laughs> not necessarily bad facial hair, hair here, but like we're not like in a city where everyone's trying to look fresh. At least that's how it feels to me. Um, and I literally, when I got mutton chops, my first reaction was like, I look like I live in Maine now. Because it was also wintertime, I was wearing a jacket, I was like, I look like I belong in Maine. Which I don't necessarily think I don't look like I belong here. I don't know what it looks like you belong here unless you look like a farmer or something. But I was like, yeah, this this is the look. This is this is Maine for you. Uh, but I think it looks fine on me. I actually kind of like the mutton chops. It, it's kind of a bold look because it's not like the most common thing. It kind of looks like you're trying to be extra or out there in, in kind of a sense, which I don't necessarily mind. You know what I want to do? Oh, I got yes, some other look at that in the last second. I want to, um, what do I want to do? What was I going to say? Oh, 
I want to braid my beard. I forgot. I put on the the Dogema, the Dogema mod. I totally fucking forgot, dude. Oh my god. That was supposed to be a surprise for you guys, but that was a surprise for me too. I forgot entirely. I love it. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, did I put the fidget spinner mod on? I don't think I did. Damn it. I was also going to put a fidget spinner mod on so you look like a fidget spinner in his next phase. I think I absolutely forgot and I feel like a fool for it now. I just feel like a fool. Um, what was I saying though? Let me use this space bar real quick. Nice. I could have got to get a big chunk off, I think. Oh, wh what the fuck was he doing there, honestly? Like, what the fuck was he doing there? Um... I've forgotten what I was saying. What's that sitting up there, by the way? What's this? Oh, A+. plus. Oh, what the fuck? Sure. I don't know if it affects much, but sure. Oh, I want to braid my beard, bro. <laughs> yeah, bombs on this phase aren't worth it. Goodbye, uh, that. Perfection. Dude, we're choking hard here, bro. We're fucking choking. At least Dogma got a taste of his own Dogma Brimstone. I absolutely forgot that was the whole concept of the video. <laughs> but look at that. He's getting a taste of it, at least. It's yellow, too. Yellow from something. <laughs> I split shot actually. Actually, yeah, split shot. I think. Um, I don't know if my beard's at the braidable point yet. I think if I grew it out, I think it could be. I've always. I, I think it needs to be maybe more complete on the chin area, because my beard's you know well and thick, but like we are, we're still missing a few pegs. It could be better. Um, but I always thought it was a cool look. It's definitely like a hippie look, and I want to do it. Let's grab a trinket real quick. So why not? Even though I don't know what it does. So he did get a taste of his own medicine, but like fucking barely, dude. <laughs> 4.5 volt plus larynx. I think it's pronounced larynx. I actually don't fucking know. It should be really good, right? It should be. Like in concept, it's incredible. So he's just he's just staying put, letting me tear on him. He literally is. Is this a broken stopwatch, baby? Uh, are we broken stopwatching this? Watching this? Also, I like the technology when I don't feel like getting in close. Because I kind of hate getting close for this guy because, I mean, look at that shot. Why that laser just kind of stop for a second? So, I, I don't mind taking this part slow and good and get larynx again. And also, you get it again. Oh, you can't. That was too weak, I guess. Now, I could literally just stay right here. And honestly, if I wanted to, I could just uh, tech point five him and then uh, use my active item when I need to. His, his shit's really unpredictable right now. It really is. We lost a brimstone. So be it. It is what it is. And we don't get a charge because 4.5 volt doesn't also synergize with just normal ash charges. But that's okay. I'm feeling okay right now. Like, these are the easy ones. Well, honestly, only the war is the hard one in my opinion. So, we haven't gone past war yet, so I won't call anything. Also, I should have backed up so I could, uh... Brimstone. can successfully brimstone without being nervous. For example, let me do that now. Hey! Okay, second phase. The, the bullet disappears. When that bullet goes up and it turns into the second phase, it's just gone for. Why is Sloth so pathetically easy? Like, you're a harbinger of death. You should be stronger. Though I suppose in real life, if I was facing him, I would stand no fucking chance, dude. I can't hold my breath too long. How can people hold their breath for, like, fucking minutes, dude? I don't understand it. I don't remember the last time, when the last time I tried to hold my breath was... Wasn't any time fucking recently, I'll tell you that much. But I remember it when I was a kid, every time we'd hold her breath, we would go like 30, 40 seconds max. I suppose I did have children's lungs, and then I was a smoker for a little bit. Uh, well, not when I was a kid. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself here. I suppose I did have child lungs, so probably I could go more than 30, 40 seconds, I would like to think. But I also did smoke for a bit, I don't anymore, so I, I would fear that would, uh, affect, would affect my breath holding abilities. Because fucking, isn't it? What's his name? What's that magician's name? Not Chris Angel. David Blaine? David Blaine, I want to say. He, didn't he hold his breath for like fucking 11 minutes, dude? Like literally, how can you do that? I think my current record probably would be like in the 30 second range. I'll, I'll say 40 seconds just to boost myself up. Um, I would try it right now, but I don't want fucking dead air for a good minute or whatever. Um... But, like, 11 goddamn minutes. Literally, how did he not fucking die? I got no answers for you. Didn't he also... Isn't So, the way I think of David Blaine, I think of him less as a magician. Whoa, what the fuck are up with those? 
and, and more as like a uh what's performance artist i think is the word because i know him for uh didn't he stay in ice for like 24 hours like not the mr beast version but like actually like almost in ice didn't he do that for like a week or some shit and I know he did that and he can hold his breath for like 11 minutes. Other than that, I can't remember a single goddamn uh, magic trick he's done. So I know him more as a performance artist, though I think he's a magician slash performance artist. Maybe something else, I don't know. But anyway, I had a magic kit once when I was a kid, and that's that story. Uh, it was the Cursed Angel one. I couldn't tell you any tricks that Cursed Angel did that he's known for. I just know he's known for being a magician. With that being said, we're on the beast right now. If I flop this, I do cry. I think I ball. I think I go in my bed and start balling. Not really. Um, but, like, how could you flop this at this point? The beast is fucking easy mode. He is low-key easy mode. He's just the final testament of how much patience you have. Can you endure it? And all that kind of stuff. Which I think is kind of cool. And it's not like... I wouldn't... Honestly, I wouldn't say he's, like, easy. He's easy for me. But I wouldn't say as, like, a, a video game boss, like, period... I wouldn't say he's an easy video game boss. Like, you give this to someone who has never fucking played Isaac before. I suppose you could say that for Larry Jr. Uh, but if you fucking give this to a new Isaac player, they're still probably going to struggle. So I'm not putting him in easy town category. But for final bosses, he's on par with Blue Baby for easy. Because Blue Baby is probably the easiest final boss. Like, he's an easier version of Isaac. I don't know why they made it like that. But it's just the, the facts. Um, and, and this guy, literally Dogma and like most of the Harbingers are easier. I would honestly say this, he's probably easier than any of the Harbingers. And then you have Mother, who's just a powerhouse. Mega Satan Delirium, like dude, the lamb's honestly annoying sometimes. Like Beast is easy, you know, he's just easy. He's a lot of fun. He's very different. One of my favorite bosses. Speaking of easy and almost dying. I, I'm not 100% focused. I am now, though. That wasted my sun card. <laughs> um, but yeah. I love him, though. He's very different unique. Would love him for more bosses to look like him. And maybe I'm just good at the whole dodging thing. I don't know. I haven't really pulled on how many people think he's easy or not. Anyway, that's the video. Dogma got what he deserved. And then some... Uh, I want to use more mods in the future, so definitely recommend me some, and I'll uh, check them out. Anyway, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Peace out.